Hey guys, Vizera Productions here, and today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on ARMS based on the Global Test Punch. So, I did a playthrough with Hebras on this. You will see a little uh, in the corner if I remember to do it. I'm not really remembering to do these things at all. Um, there will be a thing where you can just see the, um, uh, you can just see my whole uh, playthrough with Hebras. It was pretty fun, and... I'm just going to be, be getting straight into this because I don't want to waste any time. So I'm going to be breaking this down into three categories. And that is, um, it, we're liking game aspects. Which, what do I like the most? Three game as aspects I'll be doing this time. Just to like make this video shorter. So basically, the first aspect is, was the game actually fun? Was it fun to play? And honestly, I think that the game was pretty fun to play. I liked it. I thought I could see myself when I've got my fix of uh, of um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and I've already beaten Zelda for the 7,000th time. I might sit down and play myself some arms. You know, just casually with the, uh, the grip because I don't have the pro controller yet. And I'll get into the motion controls in a minute. Like... I could see myself doing that, just casually sitting down or grabbing another Joy-Con, and maybe I'll bring it to like, um, I'll bring it to like a party or like bring it to a friend's house just to, you know, test it out, uh, see how they like it and all that, and yeah. I really think ARMS was a very f fun game based on Test Punch. If they sh allowed you to do more like friend fighting on arms that would have probably on the global test punch i probably would have given me a better idea of how i'd like it and speaking of uh, uh the game aspects and being fun there was like this little mini game that you could randomly get with people where you'd like have to knock a ball it's it's like uh what's it called uh um volleyball that's it it's like pretty much like volleyball except the bomb is it's a huge freaking bomb and it explodes when it lands on the other person's side that game is actually that game mode is actually pretty fun. Some people didn't like it. I really liked it. I thought it was interesting. You don't expect it, but yeah. So, I think Arms succeeds in that category. I think Arms is just a fun game. It doesn't exceed. It doesn't. Um. It doesn't fail to meet expectations. It just just about meets expectations. So next, moving on to the appeal of the motion controls. Did I like the motion controls? Now, the first thing I have to say is that when ARMS was first revealed, I made a video on Sonic Moves called Why I Dislike ARMS. And the, I was willing, after that video, I thought, okay, I, I, was give, I was pretty harsh on it, but I just didn't think that the motion controls was that interesting. But then I thought, okay, you know what? Maybe the motion controls can be kind of interesting, like a VR demo and stuff, and I'll just test it out in the test fire. So I did, and what is my opinion on the motion controls? I gotta agree with a lot of people I, um, a lot of people I know through Discord. I did not like the motion controls. The motion controls just felt really, um, really, like, unresponsive. Like, they still threw punches when you threw together, um, your, when you threw your fist. But you could, it was extremely hard to, um, to, like, um, make it move in a certain direction. And it was just, it was just so hard to move. Like, and the worst, the worst part about all of it is the fact that when I tried blocking, nothing happens, which is sad. I would have wished, they, like, Nintendo, the number one thing you need to improve on ARMS right now is the motion controls. I did not like them, and if someone somehow of Nintendo is watching this video or watching another video that has the same thoughts, please... Please fix the motion controls, make them better, and I will probably like ARMS more. So ARMS did not meet expectations with that. But time for the third and final category, the final game aspect. The game's actual, like, the actual style. That's what I'm going at. Was the game, did the game have an interesting style? Like, how the graphics looked and all that. Personally... The game looks st pretty standard to me. It looks just like um, as I would have expected. It didn't fail to meet expectations, and it was nowhere even near to ex exceeding because I wasn't like blown away by the graphics. Not like it's running Unreal Engine 4, like um, at like complete over like all the settings on max. It no, it's 
clearly just a standard game, and for the graphics, it just looks, it looks okay. Um, I mean, they could have done better if they really wanted to show off graphics, but of course that wasn't really the point. Did the game look nice? I didn't really notice any too, d too big details. I, I think that the shading is pretty standard, and pretty much everything for the graphics is standard. I just think that the graphics is nothing special. So, time to my final opinion. Based on the global test punch, do I like ARMS? Am I going to get it day one? And the answer to getting it day one is I'm not going to pick up ARMS day one. It just isn't that kind of game for me. Many people didn't like it that I know in Discord, and I have, and all the, their reasons I definitely agree with. There are a lot of people that did like it. Some people on uh, the Switch por the Switch Force video, people were saying Arms was amazing and all that. And I I respect other people's opinions, but I just thought Arms was not anything special. The motion controls were cheap and bare. The the game style was just normal, and the graphics were like just plain as well and the game was just m moderately fun so am i ever going to be getting arms i do think that arms is probably going to receive a price drop in the near future and then i might get it if it's like 30 or 20 dollars since for arms being a full game 70 dollar full game no, I'm not paying that much. It's the same thing with 1-2-Switch. No, I'm not going to pay that much money. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on ARMS. I'm not going to be getting it day one. I I got a Discord notification. And, yeah, it's not... I just hate... I just hated most of the motion controls. So, out of 10, what would I give this game? I would give it a 5 or a 6. I just, it was not anything special. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you.